Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I was killed by a super Pershing, like a Muppet, on the Paris map. Last time I played the T-56, so now I have to play the Super Pershing. And I accidentally recorded a video about the Lance and C because I thought I was killed by a Lance and C. So I'll post that video as well, because why not? This tank uh, is old and tired and has been power creeped out of the game. Uh, and, uh, it well, it sucks because it can't bounce anything. And um, Except it bounced my shot when, it, when I tried to kill him because I hit the gun barrel! And this is the old setup I had, uh, uh, vert stabs, vents, and rammer, which is just the, the old way of doing things, right? The old way, guys. Uh, we'll try it the old way, uh, but it's so slow now. Mobility, 40 top speed, which is just so bad that, um, I don't know, it's just so bad. <laughs> but let's, uh, why, why does this have an exclamation mark? Directive has no effect. Why does it have... Oh, yeah, because I don't have... It's, it's right. It has a, this directive... <laughs> Let's put the directive that has no effect, guys. <laughs> That's the old way of doing things. <laughs> this is recorded live. No cherry picking, okay? If I screw up, if I haven't played a tank for... Uh, 10 years and I have no idea and I, you know, I'm not going to play 40 games to warm up okay and uh, then show you the 1 out of 40 where I dominate on the battlefield that's not the way it works you can see me suck now I'm in my sheriff's account so my crew has all the skills which is, is a huge advantage uh, and with all the skills in this setup uh, my firepower uh, 2 second aim time which is still terrible and 0.33 dispersion which is you know it's, it's all meh gun depression is great uh, let's just play it like this and then if it's unplayable we'll put uh, turbo on there I think probably probably have to drop drop one of those things to put turbo on because 40 is excruciating so I am in my sheriff's account so I get the benefit of um, uh, beautiful crew skills but as soon as the enemy, as soon as I'm detected, sometimes the enemies uh, YOLO me, and I get killed. Right, so that's no good. <laughs> so where should I go? I'm I'm slow. Uh, I don't want to go in the. F I'll go. Should I go in the forest, guys? Let's go in the forest. Except I'm not very good in the forest. I'm just not. Uh, I'm not uh, proficient in the forest. Usually I go here. But they've changed the map on the one line. I'm not sure what the lines of fire are. I haven't played this map on the 1-2 line uh, very much since the changes. So I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Now you can see that 40 kilometers. I am going 40 though. So that's, that's good. I'm on grass. And even though my top speed is 40, I'm going 40. Which is... That's... You know, terrain resistance wise, that's really good. I, I don't know if I'm entering the forest the right way here. I, I really don't know what I'm doing, so you guys get to watch me. Where am I? I'm lost in the forest, guys. I'm just... The Buraska shooting me? Why is the Buraska my own teammate? Oh, guys, my own teammate shooting me. I don't, I don't know why. I was going to say, because I'm going 40, I'll probably be the last in the forest. None of my team, nobody's. Guys, nobody on my team wants to play. Uh, they're all, like, hiding at the back. And uh, my mouse sensitivity is too high here. Now, if I can stay hull down... See, as soon as I'm spotted, guys, it's uh, in the Sheriff's account. This was, there's only one artillery. And he's going to be... Oh, please. While I'm reversing right through the weak spot. Like, come on. Fucking RNG. While I'm reversing right through the weak spot, guys. This game. You just... You point and you press the trigger. And then Wargaming says, oh... Uh, yeah, let's cross here and get hit. Let's cross here and get hit. Oh, 
Burask, probably over there. Come on, T-44. Yeah, I'll be focused all game uh, by the artillery, guys. It's okay. The artillery is just making it easier for... Dude, dude. me the t-34-3 with regular ammo Just to turn and maneuver when uh, when you see a possible shot, it's well. I don't have a fucking outline. Let's do that. It's behind the topography. Gotta fix my fuel tank, guys. I'm not in a very good position here. Seriously, I'm not in a good position. I don't even know if I can get away. Because we can't push into the open there now. Right, they've got a Saladin back there. We'll just spot us. they got a Burask in the middle. So if I, once, like we've won the forest, but once you push out here, we're just gonna get uh, annihilated, right? And I've lost all my HP, so rather than die, I will uh, reposition. But it's just too slow to reposition, right? It's going to take me forever because I'm going 38. So to pull a move like this, like I, what I want to do is go around like this and, cut, uh, and go to the strong flank. Uh, but at 22 kilometers, like it's, it's unworkable like this. You need turbo to do this kind of stuff, unfortunately. But it's either... See, that guy tried to push the Burask. Uh, do you see there? The Burask just moved. We're not going to spot these guys down here. If you push out of the forest, uh, these guys need to retreat now, right? Or just take positions here and be patient. Because if they push out of the forest, uh, they're just going to die. Let's see if I get counter battery by accident. So you need turbo. I need to be doing this at... 60 65 kilometers an hour like a like a normal tank like a normal medium tank then i would be there already shooting but this is just excruciating it's too slow and in the old days it, it, it you gave up speed because you had armor right uh, but nowadays you you don't you simply don't have any armor uh, so you're slow but you don't get anything there's no advantage to your slowness Gotta knock these down because See, I, I, if I was here already, I'd be shooting that WZ. I could be so helpful, but I'm just too slow. See, like, if, if I had gotten here 20 seconds ago, 
that this would have been a good um, thing, but. But I'm too, it too, too late to the party, you know what I mean? So now the Burask. Just too slow to help my team, guys. I made a mistake going to the forest. And um, I just uh, do not have the speed to maneuver. Uh, too good to change map positions. Like, I, I know uh, this is a good map position, but it just, it just takes too long to do everything. So... Look at this, excruciating. I'm sorry, team. Oh, look, this, I can't even. The Burask is coming too. The Burask will take me out. Guys, you see the Burask is probably heading this way. I'm in the bushes. about us so no, it's unplayable okay we gotta switch to turbo and um and see how it goes okay guys a uh, terrible game but I, I was kind of talking you through how i was uh, feeling in that game and it just for my play style uh being able to move around and react to what's going on in the battlefield it's just unplayable for me so uh, maybe for some of you that know choke points to go to and just be patient in one choke point, be hull down, maybe uh, maybe you know better map positions to go initially. You might be able to get away with the slowness, but I, I 40 kilometers an hour and then you know a little slope slowing down to 20 is not playable for a medium tank for me. It's giving the enemy team an extra tank, basically. Like seriously, like uh, I, I'm in a super purging. What did the enemy team get? Uh, Saladin? Is that my counterpart? Now that's a medium tank, right? Uh, and I think it is. Or T30, T34-3 is my counterpart. He's the um, preferential matchmaking medium tank. And I like that, a T34-3 uh, can go circles around me. So he's moving around the battlefield and I'm a slug. The enemy just has an advantage. So we gotta, we gotta switch this up on there. We gotta go turbo. We just have to go turbo. Uh, what do we replace this with? Maybe just vents? Let's do the vents directive. That's all I get, eh? Okay. Um, what's my top speed now? 40? Well, how come it didn't change? What the fuck's... Speed, 40. What? Oh, I put him. <laughs> what the fuck? Turbocharger! Turbocharger! Wargaming, I just do 600,000 credits in your account. Turbocharger. <laughs> okay, does that work? Turbocharger? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I could play, and then I'll say, fucking thing's so slow, what's going on? Okay, now we've got to 45, which still sucks. Oh my god. Okay, and one more thing. I think this might... Let's take the food out there and do the high octane. Is that... That's basically going to give us more engine power. Uh, and maximum speed. Let's go into next battle. So we've maximized our engine power, maximized our speed at the expense of uh, food, which increases all crew skills. So my gun handling is going to be worse. Plus we, we drop vert stabs, right? So my, my gun handling is going to be worse because of the dropping the food and the vert stabs. The vert stabs is big. 20% decrease to um, penalties on your gun handling. Now, you'll notice I have completely... Uh, premium ammo and no regular ammo because this tank uh, is basically wargaming has stolen your money if you bought one 
uh, because it used to be a preferential matchmaking tank and uh, the premium or the regular round is shit. The premium round's 254 pen or something, but the regular round's like 200. And they even bumped that a bit. It used to be lower. Uh, but back in the day when you first played this tank, it was a preferential matchmaking tank. Means it'll only seat tiers uh, tier 9, 8 matchmaking, right? Uh, but back in the day, the worst it would see uh, before they changed the matchmaker was 3 tier 9s, 5 tier 8s, 3, 5, 7, and 7 tier 7s. That would be the worst. But now, this is quite common. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tier 9s and the rest tier 8s. Most of the games you'll see is full tier 8. You will rarely see tier 7s and 6s. So this tank is just uh, vir virtually uncompetitive. Um, uh, but that's the way it is, right? You, you're going to find yourself in this a lot. And if you do... I don't know where that shot went. You know where that shot went? I, I don't know. Uh, if you just pack regular ammo, you'll end up in games like this, and you'll you'll do absolutely nothing. Unless uh, you know, unless you're a super unicom and you, you get good and learn to aim, then you'll be okay. And I'm not pushing anywhere on this game because I didn't even get a shot on that freaking Lorraine. Uh, look at this matchmaking guide. Like the, this is basically. Uh, legalized how wargaming stole money from us and I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you know I'm not the, the inflammatory rhetoric um, when we bought these tanks they were preferential matchmaking right and uh, people uh, are misunderstand they say well the maximum you can see is tier nines and you can still only see tier nines that they haven't changed anything you're just talking you're just complaining no I, that's not true uh, in the past, like I said, it was always 3-5-7 matchmaking. And in the worst case, you'd have three tier 9s in the game. Three. And if you were with tier 9s, you had three tier 9s and um, seven tier 7s. So you could take this slow hunk of shit and fight uh, versus at least seven tier 7s. But now... You'll... Like, look at this matchmaking. I don't see any tier 7s. And that KPZ is... Like, a 3-5-9. When you were top tier, you were ver a 3 tier 8s. Five tier sevens, or three five seven, um, and then the rep. Jeez, I'm just not playing well. I'm complain. Now I'm complaining, guys. Sorry, I'm not playing that well because I'm distracted. Uh, but uh, yeah, three five seven matchmaking. Uh, when you were top tier, three tier eights, five tier sevens, seven tier sixes. That's what this tank could handle. Bullseye! Good thing I dropped all that stuff that helped my gun handling. Right, guys? Because uh, all, all these statistics uh, make sense. So I dropped the, uh, the vert stabs and the, um, and the other one. So now, as you can see, my gun handling is worse. Except for that shot. Spotted? 
by his little cupola. Now there's some snipers up right here, guys. That's the... Right, right, right there. Yeah. Fucking hell. You can't fucking bounce anything here with this. Try. Fuck you, Artillery. I got talking about the preferential matchmaking, uh, guys, and uh, I'm just, I'm not, I apologize. I wasn't, pla I'm just not, uh, I knew I was going to get sniped there, and I still just sat there. I still I, I don't feel it being very much faster or much improved with the turbo. Funny enough, I feel my gun handling is almost better. I drop the vents and the vert stabs. I'm just spending credits right now. I see the chariots here. I wanted to take out the KPs. I don't know what this tier 10 is doing, wallowing in the in the swamp. They're like, what are you doing? Tier 9, I mean, well, what's he doing? Like, why would you go there? This BZ58-2? What's what was your plan going down there? Sliding. I can't stay up there. Thank you. That's one way to handle a tier 9. Did I bounce it? He sh Did he not shoot at me? He did. Yeah, he penned me once. Sucks to be you. I knew if I backed up over the ridge line there, I had some help from teammates behind me. I don't want to get spotted now because I'm a, a one shot and that KPZ. There he is. Oh, good, 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 good. It's hard to say what to do here, guys. Um, I can't really relocate. Perhaps there's someone hiding right there. any of these blind shots have connected. Our 
RBZ buddy there is just in a shitty position. I don't think he can get out of it. I'm just going to keep blind shooting this bush. It's only credits. It's only credits. Now if he can... I'm worried about the KPZ. If I move to the next ridge line, I'll get spotted and you know, anyone will pen me. Maybe I should just wait here because he's going to spot. I do not have good view range, guys, because I dropped the vents and, and I don't have optics. Look at my look at my loadout now. On my view range circles, I just don't have good view range. Pushing ahead now, would I would die because they're hiding by the base in bushes. If I drive towards the base, they'll spot me and kill me. So there's no advantage to me doing that. I'm going to try and get a shot on this T-54. He, he drove forward, he got spotted. The KPZ's probably somewhere over there. You can't push into uh, enemies that are hidden if you got low HP. So let's... Um oh boy. This is tough. This is tough. Why is the artillery coming right beside me? Oh, okay, he's just driving by. Son of a bitch, right? Okay, artillery. You get ready, I'll go spot. I'll get spotted on the way there, guys. I shouldn't have knocked that tree down. Kill the KPZ first and then go reset. No! You bet no, no. I don't have time, guys.
I don't have time. Ah, Scheitzer. Ah, so it's a, so it ends up being a draw, which was, uh, you know, for a tier nine game, uh, that that's okay. Uh, but it just uh, feels underwhelming to me. Twenty six shots, I bet. <laughs> A lot of blind shots. Did I hit any blind shots? I, I don't recall. I, probably not. Probably not. But uh, I think that's probably the best setup. I think... Uh, I... Look, look at this, guys. We're, we're going to do one more one more game. But, I mean, you, you look at firepower, right? Uh, 2.08 2 aim time, 0 0.34 dispersion. Now, if you put food in there, right... And then you put vert stabs in there. You help with the penalties. That this gets better, but I, I 1.99, 0.32, and then the vert stabs stop the penalties. I didn't feel any difference. Tell you the truth, uh, like that shot on the ELC and the shots I was taking, uh, I I didn't feel any difference on the gun. I, I think it's just all freaking mumbo jumbo numbers. I I just did not feel any difference at all. In fact, uh, oh, this is uh, this is the old matchmaking tier nine, eight, and seven. That this is better matchmaking for this tech. Better matchmaking. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's a, if you drop to 0 0.32, 0 0.31 um, dispersion from 0.34, the circle's a little smaller. But if your shots cluster towards the middle. Uh, and the other thing I was doing was trying not to move my turret or my hull when I was getting ready to shoot. That eliminates the um, uh, the penalties because you get pe your, your your circle blooms when you when you move your gun like this. See the circle blooming, and when you turn your tank, see the circle blooming. So if you can avoid turning your tank or turning your turret, like people play like this, right, and they. They turn their tank around like this. If you do that, your circle's bigger. Uh, so if you avoid that, you're kind of doing, you're, you're helping um, sort of like vert stabs. It's what vert stabs is doing, is reducing those penalties. So if you're avoiding turning your hull and turning your turret, uh, you're kind of mitigating that you don't have vert stabs, okay? And good players will do that. They'll drive like this and they'll lock their turrets when they're looking around so they're not introducing penalties. And then when they want to shoot some, they'll pre-aim like this and poke around the corner with their turret already turned. So they're not making all those adjustments with turret and hull. Because if you wait till after you poke... And he's just going right through my side. Like on that angled side like that, he went right through, really? Oh, come on! I'm on soap rocks! Oh, that's annoying. No, 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 don't just do that. that that's not good. We didn't even scratch them. I'm surprised he penned... Uh, let's check what the side armor is on this. He was penning me like on that angle. I want to know what the side armor is on this. Pull back, buddy. You're just going to die. being pushed around here guys I'm trying to play but
we've lost the other flag. That's unfortunate. Almost need to go back, guys. Win this flank and then go back. And Basante's playing a good game. Well played, Basante. He got like, he got there before me. That's the, the thing about, about the speed, right, guys? Um, he got there first. He clipped me twice just trying to get into position, and that's what happens when you have a slow tank. messages. Okay, I have to go back to base. Pushing out there now is really not an option. Okay, it is significantly faster, guys. But it's no speed demon. It's just not fast enough. Come on. Wargaming, have we lost? Is that is that your decision? Enemy armor is damaged. DLC behind me. Right through. Oh well. Armor. Regular ammo right through. I'm just showing my... Just right through. Just right through the upper plate, lower plate. It doesn't matter. Back in the day, you'd bounce, but you can't bounce anything. Now we gotta play another game. And we're gonna give this thing another, another try. Right? D too slow. It, it's old and tired. It's too old, too tired, too fucking blind. And as you can see, like when the other flank dies, you just can't get there in time, right? When one flank gets wiped out, you just can't make the, the transition fast enough. And what is the uh, side armor? 76. I was uh, angled a little bit too much right through the side, right? Okay. Okay. Now, I, d I didn't mention this tank has fairly good concealment. So we will conceal ourselves. We will be concealed. No fun for you. You will not see me because I, I will be concealed. But I am blind. Have light tanks? What a weird war gaming. No light tanks. We got an E25 who's invisible who could probably spot everyone. There he goes. Good, 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 good. Oh, smart E25. Team? E25, shoot him? No? Yes? Do I get spotting assist? Interesting that I... That's another Bisante, and he obviously has a uh, poor view range. He sh should have seen me when I fired that second shot.
Okay. Okay, nobody's spotting. Perhaps plus will move up. No. Shall we try? In a slow tank. No sixth sense went off. Sixth sense went off. Ho 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 ho! I am so lucky. Oh my god. I am lucky. Did you guys see what just missed me? Did you see? Did you see what just missed me, guys? Twice. I bounced one and he missed one. Oh, I'm so lucky. Super Helka. I got a lot of backup, guys. And if one guy comes up with me, I think we're good. Oh, I will help you, little buddy. No, oh, come on, I can't, can't bounce anything. Except a 750. Except 750 alpha from the... Uh... I've got artillery, why aren't they shooting this guy? Come on artillery! There you go! Firm. I'm just asking artillery to shoot him, that's all. Because I'll get hit two or three times if I poke this corner from invisible tanks, right? And even angled, protecting my track wheel, it doesn't... Yes, it doesn't seem like I can bounce anything. Let artillery do its uh, job here, guys. Artillery, you're taking your time. One more shot, artillery. Did I get penned by the Super Elka? Yeah, I just... What are you gonna do? It's one of those games, guys. Okay, let's let someone win the gold here. But uh, that's it's kind of sucks. No, not really bouncing. Uh, not doing a lot of bouncing. But I was being detected by him. Much easier against uh, your own tier. There's a, a TD AMX was back there. There you go. I don't want to. He's probably camping at the back there. There he is.
God damn, that's bad. Okay. Now we made it work. Make it. Oh, there's a. There's, hey! Hey! Hey, wait! Let Mikey go. <laughs> this is <dumb. laughs> Uh, it's only fun when you when you're fighting tier sevens and sixes. So that's my uh, no BS live gameplay of the Super Pershing. Uh, really tough when you're playing tier nines. Underwhelming in every way. Too slow. Don't spend any money on it if it comes for sale. It's just there's other better American uh, Iron Army is better now, right? It's the new Super Pershing. Uh, but uh, how did we do? We did okay. We did. We oh, we got. I think we got a couple of blind shots, and we did fifteen hundred spotting assists. So, so um, yeah. Uh, what killed me? Burask. We get to do the Burask next. Now that'll be fun. Okay, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed that, and um, um, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I'll catch you on the next one.